The Twins with half their bullpen unavailable, so needing a big outing from Nick Blackburn up against Doug Fister, who has a sub-3 ERA on the year. Fister gives up a leadoff triple to Denard Spann, and then one out later, Jason Kubel comes through with the RBI single, and the Twins strike first, take a 1-0 lead. As for Blackburn, top three, this nasty pitch to Carlos Peguero. The two batters later, he freezes Michael Saunders to the bottom of the third. Twins doing what they do. Matt Tolbert lays down a perfect squeeze bunt. Alexi Casillas scores. Tolbert gets him high fives, and it's 2-0 Twins. But in the top of the fourth, that lead evaporates. Miguel Alevo, a two-run blast, his fourth home run of the season, and we're all tied up at two runs apiece. Still tied, top seven, a man on at third base for Carlos Peguero. Busted bat, runner coming home, Casillas throw. Rivera with the block and tag. What a play there by Rene Rivera taking the shot to the bottom of the inning, first to third for the Twins, and Fister is called for a balk. Rene Rivera comes in with the go-ahead run. Eric Wedge can't believe the call, but watch the leg of Fister. Doesn't quite commit to third base before throwing the first, so the ball stands. After that, Denard Span is going to serve this to left field. Span had a big game. Casilla comes in as well. Three hits for Span, who's a homer shy of the cycle, and the Twins take a 4-2 lead. Blackburn looking for the complete game in the ninth. Roller to the right side, and Nick Blackburn continues his outstanding month of May. Now that's the way to finish a ball game, a complete game for Nick Blackburn. Blackburn 3-0 with a 1.72 ERA in May. It's the fifth career complete game for Blackburn. Two runs on seven hits, six strikeouts. He threw a career-high 127 pitches to provide a night off for the tired bullpen.